there, I'm Chris Schleter, master gardener, food writer, and blogger. Gardening and cooking healthy, tasty food is my passion. Welcome to my country kitchen, where we'll cook fresh, fast, and with the best ingredients you can find. Come join me now. Are you ready to jumpstart your way to healthier you? Today we're gonna to be making some salads that are jam-packed with vitamins and nutrients, and also some dressings that are fun and tasty to make. So get rid of those purchased dressings you have in your refrigerator, and let's start making it from scratch. Then you'll be well on your way to healthier you. Today we're gonna to start with a Brussels sprout salad. And a Brussels sprout salad is one of the simplest salads you can make that's gonna be really healthy for you. As you can see, I have some Brussels sprouts here that are already cut and shredded. And for this recipe, you will need fresh Brussels sprouts. You can buy these in any grocery store. Um, just make sure that they're fresh and not frozen. And I'm gonna show you how to cut them up. So basically, they are a member of the cabbage family, so they're like little cabbages. So you just cut off the end, so you got the little bit of the stem there, and then you're going to thinly slice these. And the way to thinly slice them is to kind of keep your fingers turned under and then just slice them real thin. And you can see it's not hard, it doesn't take much time, and I just kind of keep rotating the Brussels sprout until it's nice and cut off there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next one, and we'll just slice it real nice and thin. And that's how you slice a Brussels sprout. You also could use a food processor and you also can buy these pre-shredded. But I prefer to buy everything that doesn't get touched a lot by machines or hands. So that's why I cut mine up by hand. So after you have the Brussels sprouts all cut up, you can add some other items to the salad. And one of those is golden raisins. So those you just add right in there. You can also add cranberries, dried cranberries. And then we're also gonna add another really good grain to the salad. This is called quinoa. And quinoa is an ancient grain, and it is actually it originated in South America. And for this recipe, it calls for a, a white one, but I also use the red quinoa. Red quinoa adds a little bit of color to it. And here is the red and the white that is all mixed up the quinoa. So what I'm gonna do is add a cup and a half of quinoa to the salad. Quinoa is very easy to make. All you need to do is just rinse it and put it in some boiling water. Just follow your package directions. Most packages will tell you to put two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. And you cook it until it is soft but not exploded. So usually it's about anywhere from 12 minutes on up or even less depending on the style of quinoa that you have. So quinoa is easy to make and it's quick to make. Okay, let's make the dressing for the Brussels sprouts salad. Um, I'm going to make mine in a blender. You also can make this in a food processor. So you take a cup of sunflower seeds and a third cup of orange juice and anytime I use orange juice, I freeze it or I squeeze it so that it is fresh. And I also always zest it too. And I happen to have a little tangerine left. So I'm just going to add this right into the salad as well. And so I'm going to zest it first. And uh, you can just need a microplaner to zest it. So that's how you zest any kind of a uh, fruit. And anytime you make a salad dressing, make sure you have lemon in it and or some kind of citrus or a little bit of acidic in there. And then if you're using a fruit, make sure you do zest it. And then I'm just gonna cut this in half and we'll just squeeze it right into the dressing jar here. Okay, so that is our juice. Next, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of lemon. And again, always make sure you pre-wash your fruits and vegetables. I wash mine in the vinegar water to make sure that there's no um, residue or fungicide on them if possible. So I'm gonna zest this again. And a tablespoon usually is about a half of a lemon. So all we need to do is just put that in the juice right into the jar. 
Okay, now we need to add some sweetener into this. And for sweetener, I'm going to use maple syrup. And it calls for two teaspoons of maple syrup, so I'm gonna put in a couple teaspoons here. Now, if you don't have maple syrup, you could use um, like a lightweight sugar. You could also use a agave nectar. Agave nectar is good too. So that's something else you can use as a sweetener if you want a natural sweetener. So that is our maple syrup. And next we're gonna add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then we're gonna add, the recipe calls for apple cider vinegar, but I'm just gonna let you know I switch this up a little bit because I happen to find an orange muscat champagne vinegar. And anytime you have a fruit like oranges or lemons or something in there, look for vinegar that might have that fruit infused in it. So it also calls for a quarter cup of water so I am going to add a teaspoon of this muscat and orange vinegar to it to give it some really nice orange flavor. And another good healthy item it need to add is a little bit of turmeric. It's only a quarter of a teaspoon. You also can buy turmeric fresh. This is a root of a turmeric. And I'll just show you what that looks like when you grate it into a salad. So I just grate it like this. And you don't need much, because turmeric is pretty strong, but it gives you really good color as well. And then we just need a pinch of some salt and a crack of some couple peppers here. And we're gonna sneak in one more little good thing, and that's about a tablespoon of flaxseed. Now that I have all this, I'm gonna add this together right into my other juices, and we're going to blend this really quick. And like I said, you can use a blender, you can also use a food processor as well. I like a blender because it's really fast, and it really gets it emulsified really good. See how fast that was? Real quick and easy, and it makes it really good. Now another thing you need to do when you make um, salad dressings, always taste your dressing, because you want to make sure that it's sweet enough, or if, in case you need to add something else. And that's perfect. That's got enough of the orange juice in it, and it's got enough sweetener in it, so it kind of gives it a well-rounded flavor. So now I'm ready to add it to my salad. So I'm just going to mix up everything here, and you can see it's starting to look really colorful. And that's another way to know that it's a healthy salad, because the more colors it has in it, the healthier the salad's going to be. And you should always use as many fresh ingredients as you possibly can. As a matter of fact, you should, your diet should really be two-thirds of leafy green vegetables and fruits for the day. And I'm also going to add some sliced almonds to this. So you can see we're getting lots of good value in here. And then for the dressing, you just kind of drizzle it on. And I don't drizzle it all in and on at once. If you want it thinner, feel free to add more water or orange juice or you can also serve it on the side. Now add a little bit more. And you just wanna make sure you have enough dressing to kinda of get it mixed up. So there you go, you can see how nice it's really binding really well. It's gonna be a really nice salad, so look at that. Talk about healthy, that's really good. You got everything in there you need, plus you got your vitamins and minerals for the day. And if you wanna make it like a main meal salad, throw some turkey or chicken in it as well. Well, stay tuned and we're gonna show you how to make a salad with butternut squash. Now we're gonna make some really quick and easy dressings. These are dressings that you probably have in your refrigerator right now, but I'm gonna show you how to make them right from scratch. But before I do that, I just wanna tell you how I organize my dressing recipes. I put them all together on little cards so that I have them ready to go real quickly when I need to make them fastly. You also could get a little booklet and put your recipes in like this and that way they're ready to go because these you're probably going to using once a week. The fresh dressings that you make, they will probably keep in the refrigerator about a week or two, but if they get any type of mold around them, get them out of the right away. But what's really nice about homemade dressing is that they're tastier and fresher and you can make them a lot more often than you would your other regular dressings that you have in the bottles. And the dressing we're going to make now is going to be a ranch dressing. And it's really simple. All you need is equal parts of mayo, 
and equal parts of sour cream. So you can do like a half a cup of each would be equal or a cup and a cup, just with exactly the same measurement of each one. And then basically you just have to add herbs to it. And you can use a measuring spoon if you like. I usually do a teaspoon. You don't have to add these same herbs that I do. Add ones that are good that you like in your family. I'm adding parsley. I'm adding a little bit of onion powder. And I'm gonna add some dehydrated garlic or you could use garlic powder too. But I'm just gonna use a pinch of that because this will dissolve into the dressing. And I'm gonna add a pinch of dried jalapenos and all these things I make myself out of my garden. And I'm gonna add a pinch of French thyme. Now French thyme is kind of a stronger herb, so you don't need a whole lot of it. Just a pinch will do it just fine. And then you basically just mix it all up together. And you can see the herbs are already mixing up really well in there. Then all we have to add is buttermilk. Um, you can buy buttermilk or you can also just use regular milk, add like a couple teaspoons of vinegar to it and it'll make it into buttermilk. But uh, most recipes are called buttermilk ranch. And it's a real kind of a thicker, thin kind of milk. You just add it until you have the consistency that you like. Ranch dressing is kind of a thicker dressing. So you can see there, it's binding together, it's coming together, um, and maybe a touch more on that. And what's nice about um, ranch dressing is that you can use it not just on salads, but it's a great way to have a snack in the refrigerator for kids for vegetables. And if you have all your vegetables pre-cut up and your dressing ready mixed, that's something they can just grab on the go. So all you have to do is just dip a carrot or a celery stick in there, and then you have really homemade ranch dressing that really tastes really good. Let's make some blue cheese dressing. One of my favorites, great with steaks, great with wedge salads. Not very many ingredients, very simple to make. You need some mayo, some sour cream, and the recipe that I use calls for just a little bit less sour cream than mayo. So just follow the recipe and you'll be good. And then we just need some other condiments, which is a dash of Worcester sauce, just a dash, oops, there, that's just a dash. Then we need some salt and some pepper. And we need some lemon. And again, I always zest the rind in there so you have that extra or more lemony flavor. And this is just half a lemon, that's plenty. If you find out it's too tart, then I would suggest just adding a little bit of some sugar or you could use agave nectar or honey too if it's too tart. That's why it's really important to taste your dressings. And then you can use basically any herbs you want. I also add a little bit of white vinegar to this. And the herbs I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use some garlic powder. I'm gonna use some onion powder. And I'm gonna add a, just a little bit of the dehydrated garlic. And then all I need to do is mix this up gently together don't stir this really fast if you don't have a big bowl because always it'll splatter. So just stir it nice and easily and you'll have a nice dressing. You can see it's starting to come together now. And then to this you can add buttermilk. It doesn't take much. So you can see it's ready to be about the right consistency of what you want for a dressing. Now the most important ingredient that you're gonna need in this is blue cheese. Buy the best blue cheese you can find. A nice creamy blue cheese, break it up into crumbles and add as much as you want into it. I would say anywhere from a half a cup on, depending on how much you make. And I think we just just add a little bit of pepper in there. Okay. And now I'm gonna taste this again to make sure it's not too tart with that lemon because even some lemons are different compared to others. That needs just a 
touch of sweetener. Add a little bit of some natural organic sugar in there. And there you have it, blue cheese dressing. And I'll show you what this looks like on a spoon here so you can see. See the chunks of the blue cheese in there? This would be great on a salad, great with wings, great with celery. It's a really good and easy salad dressing. If you want the recipes, go to Cooking in the Country with Chris on my Facebook page, or you can go to my website, cjinspirations.wordpress.com.